welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar in this course we continue to study ach sandhi or vowel sandhi we said that ach sandhi is a substitute in place of a vowel or vowels this sandhi could be a consonant or a vowel as well we classified ach sandhi into two the current classification that we are studying is dvisthanik ekadesh dvisthanik ekadesh the first classification that we have already studied is ekasthanik ekadesh where there is one substituent and it is replaced by one substitute ek sthani ek adesh there are two instances of ek sthanik ek adesh namely yan sandhi and ayavayav sandhi yan sandhi is stated by the sutra iko yanachi and ayavayav sandhi is stated by the sutra echo yavayavaha and there are some more sutras explaining the ayavayav sandhi we have studied all these sutras in this course before coming back to the dvisthanik ekadesh this is different than the earlier one because here there are two substituents dvi sthani and one substitute that replaces both these substituents dvisthanik ekadesh this is stated by the adhikara sutra ekah purva parayoho 6184 a very important adhikara sutra ekaha means one substitute and purva parayoho which is 6 slash 2 means in place of previous that is purva and latter sound that is par purva and par in place of both of them so one substitute takes place in place of two sounds previous and latter the diagrammatic representation would be this where you have a followed by b both in the samhita mode in which we can say that a comes immediately before b and b comes immediately after a thereby they both confining the mutual environment and in this environment in this samhita a plus b one of the rules in 6184 onwards up to 61112 this particular section applies and substitutes both a and b by c a and b both are substituents and c is the one substitute a and b these are the two sthanis dvi sthani and c is one substitute ek adesh so the input is a plus b b and the output is c remember in ekasthanik ekadesh the input was a plus b and the output was c plus b only a gets replaced by c b remains unchanged there are five instances of dvisthanik ekadesh namely guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad guna 6187 vriddhi sandhi stated by the sutra vriddhi rechi onwards vriddhi rechi is 
6188. Then there is Pararupa Sandhi, which is stated by the Sutra Engi Pararupam, 6194 onwards. Then we have Savarna Dirgha Sandhi, which is what we are studying currently, stated by the Sutra Akas Savarne Dirgha, 61101. And finally, Purvarupa Sandhi, stated by the Sutra Ami Purvaha, 61107 onwards. So let us come to the Savarna Dirgha Sandhi. Let us, let us concentrate on this Sandhi, which is the fourth type of fourth instance of the Dvisthanika Ekadesha. This is stated by the Sutra Akasavarane Dirghaha. We have already studied this Sutra in the previous lecture, but let us take a recap. Akasavarane Dirghaha has got three words, three padas. Akaha phi slash one of ak and ak means phi sounds a, e, u, ru and lu. So the pratyahara ak captures the sounds stated in the first two pratyahara sutras, ayun, ruluk. So akaha stands for immediately after ak. Savarna is seven slash one of savarna. Savarna is homogeneous sound. And what is a Savarna? We studied this concept in detail in the previous lecture where we studied the definition of Savarna given in the Ashtadhyayi, namely Tulyasya Prayatnam Savarnam and Najhalo 119 and 1110. We also, while studying the concept of Savarna, we also noted down which sounds are not to be considered as Savarna as part of Najhalav and also the traditional interpretation. So coming back to Savarna, Savarna means immediately before a homogeneous sound. Dirghaha is one slash one of Dirgha meaning long vowel as the substitute. Words continued are achi, 7-1 of ach meaning immediately before any vowel, ach means vowel. Ekapurva parayoho meaning one substitute in place of two, the previous or the earlier and the latter substituents. When we put all these things together, we get the meaning of the sutra akasavarne Dirghaha as the following. Immediately before a homogeneous vowel, Savarne Achi, and immediately after Ak, Akaha, in place of both of them, Purva Parayoho, place the long vowel, Dirghaha, as the one substitute, Ekaha. I repeat, immediately before a homogeneous vowel, Savarne achi and immediately after ak, ak is a e u ru lu, akaha. In place of both of them, urvaparayoho, place the long vowel, dirghaha, as the one substitute, ekaha. And we have already studied the concept of savarana when we studied the sutras, tulyasya prayatnam savaranam as well as najhalau. Now let us study the examples of Akasavarne Dirghaha and these are the template examples. So on this slide, eight such templates are presented where we have A followed by A. So A is Ak followed by A which is a homogeneous sound, homogeneous to this A and also a vowel. And so in place of both of them, we substitute the long variety of this A, which is A. So A plus A is the input, 61101 applies and returns A, long vowel, as the output. Similarly, the second option is A followed by A. 
in the samhita mode see this is a is ak a is ach a is also savarna to a and therefore now 61101 applies and in place of both of them both a and a returns the output in the form of long vowel a the third option available is a plus a a is ak and a is the savarna of it so 61101 applies and returns the output in the form of the long vowel which is a and also a plus a and the output is long vowel a similarly in case of e where you have short e plus short e obviously they are savarnas and so 61101 applies and the output generated is the long variety long vowel of e namely e so in all these four possibilities the output is long vowel long e and the inputs are e plus e in the first case e plus long e in the second long e plus e and long e plus long e and the output in all these four cases is long e the long vowel dirgha this is the savarna dirgha sandhi similarly is the is the case with u where you have u plus u both short and 61101 applies and the output generated is long u similarly u plus long u long u plus u and long u plus long u in all these four cases the output generated by 61101 is the dirgha vowel of u namely the long u as shown here similar is the case with ru where you have ru followed by ru ru followed by long ru ru long ru followed by short ru and long ru followed by long ru and the output generated is the long ru and then we have one case of lu where we have lu followed by short lu both are short lus lu does not have a long variety so that is not possible now the output generated by 61101 is something different over here so because there is no long variety of lu however the tradition has made a statement rulavarnayor mithas savarnyam vachyam ru and lu they both are homogeneous they are to be considered as homogeneous with each other and so the long variety of ru can become the substitute over here lu plus lu and the long ru will be the substitute now let us look at these template examples and the specific examples in detail so first let us look at a plus a and the output is a so the first example is atra followed by asti in case of this word atra there is a coming at the end asti has got a at the beginning these are two different padas this is a sentence and both a atra and a in asti they both are in close proximity in the samhita mode and so now 61101 applies and substitutes both these as by their long variety namely a so the output generated would be atr a and sti when we join them together we get atrasti this is the example of the savarna dirgha sandhi that happens in between padas in the, as part of the sentence now let us look at this sandhi happening in within a pada 
or inside a compound. So here is the word dharma followed by another word artha. So dharma ends in short a, artha begins with short a because they are in samasa, in compound. So samhita is obligatory. So both of them are in close proximity. And so 61101 applies and substitutes the long variety of a in place of both of them. So we have dharma, a and ritha as the output. When we, when we join them together, we get dharmartha as the output. Similarly, if we take a preverb and verb, pra is a preverb or upasarga and atati is the verb. Pra ends in short a, atati begins with short a. Since this is a dhatu and this is an upasarga, this is a combination of upasarga plus dhatu and therefore samhita is obligatory and so in this case in place of both of them 61101 will apply and replace them both by their long substitute namely a. So we have pra, a and tati and therefore pra tati. These are the examples of a plus a generating the output in the form of long vowel a. Next is a plus a being the input and a being the output. So here we have atra and agataha. Once again the sentence, once again these are the two padas part of the sentence atra and agataha. Here we have a coming at the end of this first pada and a coming at the beginning position of the second pada. So we have a plus a. Now in place of both of them we get the long substitute namely a. So we have atra, a and gataha as the output generated by 61101 on this particular input. So we have atragataha as the resultant combination in the sentence. Now let us look at the compound form. This is very famous deva plus alaya. So here we have a followed by a because this is a samasa or compound. So the samhita is obligatory and therefore now in place of both of them 61101 will apply and generate the output in the form of dev a and laya that is deva laya. So we have several examples in Sanskrit as well as in modern Indian languages which follow this particular pattern devalaya, himalaya, karyalaya and so on and so forth. In all these examples, we shall follow this particular pattern, deva plus alaya, karya plus alaya, hima plus alaya and in place of a and a is substituted one a. So there will be him a laya, karya a laya and that is himalaya, karya laya and so on and so forth. Similarly, when we have a preverb or upasarga, followed by a verb dhatu, so pra plus ap, so pra ends in short a followed by long a and so in place of both of them 61101 applies and substitutes one a in place of both of them. So we have pra, a and punoti, when we join this together we get prapnoti. Now let us look at the examples where a plus a is the input, 61101 applies and generates the output in the form of long a. So we have asha plus avabadhnati, asha plus avabadhnati, this is a sentence, these are the two padas and here we have a followed by a. Asha and avabadhnati. This is a 
at the end of this first pada followed by a which is at the beginning of this second pada so now in place of both of them we will have one substitute a and so we have ash a and vabadnadi as the output generated by 61101 asha vabadnadi that would be the final resultant form similarly if we have a plus h so a and h this is a compound and so samhita is obligatory so we have a plus a and in place of both of them we substitute long variety of both of them namely long a so we get arch as the output generated by the application of 61101 akasabarne dirgha so the final form result will be arch this is what is used in the sutra najhalau this is how the traditional commentators they explain the the word arch as having a plus h as the combination so najhalau is segmented first of all to have the two segments namely n and this arch n and arch and then arch is further segmented into a plus h and then the traditional commentators they derive an extra a over here and they interpret it then accordingly okay let's come back to the third example this is haha plus us so haha is the name of the gandharvas haha hu hu staiva madhya gandharvas tridivau kasam if when we are deriving the panchami ekavachana or the shashti ekavachana ablative or genitive singular of haha we have haha plus us and then akasvarna dirgha apply 61101 and in place of both these a plus a there is one substitute namely the long variety of them namely long a that is placed so we have hahas as the resultant form ha 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 is the finally derived form this is a plus a as the input and a as the output and finally we have a plus a as input 61101 applies and long a is the output the first example is within a pada namely ha ha plus a we are deriving the instrumental singular of the pratipadika ha ha we have just now seen that ha ha is the name of the gandharvas and so the instrumental singular suffix a is added to them so we have ha ha plus a so now we have a plus a 61101 will apply and substitute in place of both of them the long variety that is a so we have ha and a one substitute in place of two and then we join them together and we get ha ha this is the instrumental singular of ha ha so this example shows the sandhi happening within a pada now let us look at the sandhi which happens between two padas so atma plus avirbhavati these are the two padas and here we have a at the end and here we have a at the beginning there is samhita mode and this samhita mode is vivakshita by the speaker desired to be spoken by the speaker and so since the samhita mode is on so we have a plus a in close proximity so they both of them get substituted by the long variety that is a so we have output generated by the application of 61101 namely atm a and virbhavati and when we join them together we get atma virbhavati this is the sandhi between two padas as part of the sentence 
Then we have R plus R within a compound. So vacha and arambhana. Vacha has got the word A at the end and A has got A at the arambhana has got A at the beginning because this is a compound. So Samhita is obligatory and so in place of both A's 61101 applies and substitute the long variety of A that is A and so we have Vach, A and Rambhana as the output when we join them together we get Vacharambhana as the finally derived form. This is an example of A plus A as input and A as the output. Now let us study the next template that is E plus E as input and long E as the output. So here we have Asti plus Iha. In Asti there is short E coming at the end and Iha has short E coming at the beginning of the Pada. So these are the two Padas part of the sentence. And so Akasavarne Dirghaha applies and because there is Samhita intended to be spoken by the speaker and so 61101 applies and returns the output in the form Ast, E and He. When we join them together we get Asti He. Similarly we have Buddhi plus Ishta now the compound. Since this is a compound Samhita is obligatory and so E is immediately followed by E in the Samhita mode. So 61101 Akasavarne Dirgha applies and returns the output in the form of Buddha E and Shht followed. So we have Buddhi Shht as the output. Then we have Adhi plus Itya. Adhi is an upasarga or a preverb and E is the verbal root. So here we have E followed by E and 61101 applies and returns the output as Adh, E and Tya. So we get Adhi Tya as the output. Then we have E followed by long E and the output generated is long E and the examples are these. First Abhi plus E Psa, this is a compound and therefore there is some Hita which is obligatory. So we have E followed by long E and 61101 applies and substitutes both of them by one long E. So we have ab, e and sa. Joined together it gives us abhi sa. Similarly pari plus e kshate. Here we have e followed by long e. Pari is a preverb or upasarga, e ksha is the verbal root. So samhita is obligatory and therefore we have e followed by long e. 61101 applies and substitutes in place of both of them the long variety namely long e. So we have par e and kshate that is parikshate, pariksha and so on. Then we have kavi plus iha. Once again a compound and in this case also E is followed by E, Samhita is obligatory. So 61101 applies and we have Kav E Ha that is Kavi Ha as the output generated by the application of 61101. Next we have E followed by short E and the resultant output is long E. So we have Devi plus Ichhati. This is part of the sentence where there are two words Devi followed by Ichhati, long E followed by short E. Samhita is intended by the speaker. So in place of both of them 61101 applies 
and substitutes long variety of e that is e. So, we have dev, e and chati. So, we join them together and we get devi chati. Similarly, we have nadi plus ishta. This is within a pada, this is the compound. So, here there is long e followed by short e. Because this is a compound, samhita is obligatory and therefore 61101 applies and generates the output in the form of nad e and sht that is nadi sht. Then we have the example within a pada where the word vata prami is followed by e this is the saptami ekavachana locative singular. In place of both of them we substitute the long e and so we have vata pram and e so vata prami. The word vata prami is derived in two manners one by adding the suffix e to the verbal root ma and then by adding the suffix quip to the verbal root ma. In this case vata prami is the word that is derived by adding the suffix e and therefore we have the savarna dirgha and the saptami ekavachana or the locative singular of this particular form is vata prami that is all. Now one note is added over here namely e long e appearing at the end of forms like hari, mati etc which denote dual number does not undergo this operation or any other sandhi operation it retains its own form that is prakriti bhava because of the sutra 1111 there is no substitute or no sandhi happening that is why those examples cannot be taken. And finally we have long e followed by long e where we have gauri plus eha the example within a compound and so we have long e followed by long e because this is a compound so samhita is obligatory and so we get the output after the application of 61101 namely gaur e ha gauri ha. Similarly kartri plus e kshate these are the two words in a sentence and samhita is intended by the speaker. So long e is followed by long e they both are in samhita mode and therefore in place of both of them long variety is substituted. If you count the matras that the time span needed for pronunciation of both these vowels this long e needs two matras as far as the traditional calculation is concerned and this long e also requires two matras for its pronunciation. So put together there are four matras of substituent and ideally we would need a substitute to match both of them of four matra length. But the sutra does not specify that it says that in place of both of them substitute the dirga and that is the reason why we substitute only e over here. So we have kartra e and kshate that is kartri kshate that is the resultant output generated by the application of akasavarane dirghaha 61101. To summarize we studied the template examples of 61101 in this particular lecture. We also studied the specific examples that fill into these templates. We have not seen all the examples and we have not also seen all the templates but we have seen them partially. These examples explain the process of sandhi at different levels within a pada haha plus a etc. in between padas two padas part of the sentence in the compound and so on. Next we study the remaining specific examples of Akasavarane Dirghaha 61101 
in the coming lecture. Thank you for your patience.